What's going on guys? Uh, Live It Outdoors here. Just got back from a day of fishing. Did some deep dropping. Um, I'll post that link in the description. Uh, today I'm gonna show you guys the best way to store fish in your freezer, uh, whether it's short term or long term. So we went out this morning, caught some tile fish, did some deep drop in. Um, I'm gonna give one of these fillets to my buddy at work and then I'm gonna keep the other one for myself. All right, first thing you wanna do is you wanna get a good freezer bag. Uh, whatever size you need to fit the fish. Uh, these are good size for a single fillet or even, a, even two fillets. Um, something to note, if you do f freeze two fillets together, make sure you do them scale to scale, all right? If you do them meat to meat, you are gonna have a hell of a time trying to fight them apart later on. For this, uh, for this demonstration, I'm just gonna do a single fillet in this bag. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it, put it in there and you're gonna fill the bag up with water. Okay. So as you can see, filled it up three quarters, 80% of the way. All right. Now so I'm gonna set my bag on the countertop and slowly start letting a little bit of water trickle out. I just basically just wanna get all the air out of the bag. Okay, so that's just water around your fish. When you get that block of water, you're gonna freeze it around your fish and it's gonna make it last way longer. All right, so as you can see, I'm gonna freeze it just like this in the freezer, nice and flat. No air getting to it. It's gonna be a solid block of water. Um, uh, it's the best way to do it, all right? So I'm just gonna go throw in the, throw in the uh, freezer and then uh, tomorrow morning, we'll check it out. All right, so we're gonna put it in the freezer. Uh, remember, you just want to try to lay it flat if you can. Uh, put that down there. All right, so I'm going to lay mine right here, okay? Nice and flat on the bottom. Try not to throw anything in the, in the way of it. And remember, you don't want to fill the bag 100% full because when the uh, water freezes, it's going to expand a little bit. So make sure that the bag is like three quarters of the way full. You want it to have a little bit of room to grow. All right, that's all you do. All right, just get a nice, uh, nice flat surface. Surrounded by water, no air, and uh, we'll check it out and see how it looks tomorrow. All right, so let's see how they look. All right, looking good. Tile fish. All right. As you can see, nice little blocks, nice little block of fish, and I promise you, this will last so much longer and be so much fresher. So if you haven't ever done this, try it out. Even if it's short term storage, I still do this. Um, even salmon we buy from the grocery store. I'm still doing my fish that way. Um, by far best way to store your fish. Yeah, so try it out, see how you like it. Um, leave a comment, let me know how it worked for you. And um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right, I'll see you next video.